grade. I miss you guys. I hope you all have had a good weekend and that you're ready for our last week of distance learning together. Um, I'm bummed out about it. I'm going to miss you guys. Um, but I think during this time, it's going to be important for everyone to just kind of rest and stay healthy and spend time with family. Um, but we're going to finish out distance learning strong. So we're going to keep going until Friday. So it's our second to last video together. Um, but today we're going to talk about words that have three or more syllables. We know, obviously, that a syllable is like the beats in a word, right? Um, like camera has three syllables, three beats. Okay, so let's look at these words that we're going to talk about today. Because we know that if we can like break down the syllables and look at each syllable of a word, especially a big word that might be kind of um, intimidating, and you might look at it and be like, I don't know that word. Um, but we know that we can look at each individual syllable and that will help us figure out a word that we might not know. So let's look at our words that we're going to talk about. So we have reaction. Um, my reaction to being surprised was to cry. We have suggestion. Me telling you to get your feet off my table was not a suggestion. We have decision. Sometimes it's hard to make a big decision. We have relative. My favorite relative is my cousin Beth. We have a library. I miss being able to go to the library and get new books. We have hospital. Um, now would be kind of a scary time to work at the hospital. We have happily. Um, I will happily do that for you. We have dependable. If someone is dependable, that means you can count on them for important things. We have curious. Um, people who are curious a lot of the times will learn more because they ask a lot of questions. Then we have identify. Um, when we read that book about animals in the city, we talked about how there were a lot of different ways you can identify which animal is around. Okay, so let's talk about where we are going to break up these words. We're actually going to look at this side first. So let's, we're going to clap each word and then talk about it. So we have reaction. So I am going to break that one. Hmm, so re, I know that's my first syllable. So that's my first break. And ack. So this is tricky. So you would think that you would break it after act, but it's reaction. And actually T-I-O-N are the letters that work together to make that shun sound. So we can't break those up. So it's going to be re-ac-shun. That's kind of tricky because we can't break up that shun. So then our next one is going to be suggestion. So we know that our first syllable is sug, and we've talked about how we can break up words between their consonants. We can break up a consonant pair. So we have sug, oh, messy, Jess, jun. Uh-oh, look, we have the same re ending right here, T-I-O-N, can't break it up. So it's going to be sug, Jess, jun, right? Well, let's look at this one. D. Decision. Okay, we have a S I O N in this word, which, like T I O N, is making that shun. This is shun, so we can't break it up. So it's going to be D C J U N. D C J U N. I'm getting really messy with my slashes, but you guys can see how we're breaking it. So relative. So. This one's a little tricky, too. So we can see rel. Rel is our first syllable, right? So I'm going to break it after rel. This is tricky. Uh is our middle. So rel, uh, tiv. Rel, uh, tiv, right? We broke it up into three syllables. So let's look at this one. Library. So we hear a lie as our first syllable, right? So L I. I'm gonna break it right there. Library. So this one's tricky too. Um 
So, library. Library. We're actually going to break it after brer. And our last syllable is just going to be that E, the Y. Library. Okay. So, let's look at our last side. We have hospital. Hospital. We know that's three. So hos is going to be our first syllable, right? So it's going to go hos. Oops. Ah, so messy. Hos pitol. Right? You can hear that. Hospital. Okay. And we have happily. This one's a little tricky. Happy. Billy. I can hear it three syllables. My first syllable is hap. Hap ill e. So this one's really tricky. So we're gonna break our first syllable between those P's. Remember we can break up the consonants. So hap pill P I L my next syllable. Hap billy. Right? So it's kind of like library where that E the Y, the E sound, but it's a Y, is our last syllable, right? Okay, so then this one, dependable. It's our longest one yet. So dependable has four syllables, right? So our first one is D, okay? So I'm going to do my first break between my EP. So D pinned. So P, P and D, D pinned a, bull. So D pinned a, bull. Four syllables. Okay. Second to last one. Curious. Okay. So I can hear three syllables in that. Curious. So we are going to break it. So cure is my first syllable. Cure. E. So I'm going to just break up that I so it's by itself. And the us is at the end. So it goes curious. Right? Three syllables. My last one is identify. Okay, that one is also four, like dependable. So I din t phi. So I hear I as my first syllable. I dent. So it's actually not dent, it's I din t phi. I din t Okay, so we broke up all these words between their syllables, and it's kind of tricky. I mean, I had to look at my thing. It's it's hard to know and to really hear those different syllables, but you have to listen really carefully so you know where to break it. Um, so I'm going to give you guys kind of another little quiz thing. It's only going to be a few new words that you need to break up between your syllables using the slash key on your computer, Okay. Um, but like I said, we're going to finish our distance learning strong. Um, I love you guys and stay safe. Now we'll talk to you later in the week.